Hey guys, welcome back to Snapshot Medical Kitchen. Today, we're gonna to make something vegetarian for all those vegetarians out there. I haven't made anything vegetarian since my first episode. So today, we're gonna to be making some guacamole. Um, I actually just started liking guacamole um, just within the last year. And ever since I got this mortar and bowl set from my, my good friend Ryan, I decided to go ahead and try and make it myself. Um, so, avocados, which is the base of guacamole, as I've said before in the chicken burrito episode, is very rich in omega-3 fatty acids. They help lower triglycerides in the blood, and they also do a couple other things that I didn't talk about last time. So they actually are anti-inflammatory. Um, so they have, they, they be broken down in the form of ALA, and that helps inhibit the process of making prostaglandins. So it helps with um, not having as much infl inflammatory response, so arthritis, um, it can be reduced, and it also helps boost the use of NSAIDs. Um, uh, omega-3 fatty acids also um, are good in, um, I, there's actually some science about it being useful in depression and ADHD. Um, it hasn't really been fully, you know, deemed yet, but there's still some, pro there's some promising results looking towards that. So, either way, Omega-3 fatty acids are good for you. It's a good kind of fat. It's the kind of fat that you want to have. So we're going to go ahead and make some guacamole. And uh, it seems pretty quick and easy. So it's something that you can make for a party. Looking at you, Lucia. So the first step after we've cut the vegetables that we're going to be using for the guac is to make kind of like a paste that we're going to have on the bottom of the bowl and then add the avocado to and kind of mix it all together. So we're going to have the uh, initial base of one tomato, um, about a third of oh, a third of a half of a red onion because the red onions are pretty big so I'm using about a third of that so about a sixth total of a red onion um, and then I use one small serrano pepper and um, I use some jalapeno that's to taste if you want a little spicy you want a little hot you add a little bit more I use about a half of a jalapeno so I'm going to add this into the into the mortar and then I'm just going to kind of mash it into a paste until it's all ready <laughs> 